Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to speed up rendering of Phoenix Atmospherics. Uh, this means smoke and fire. So you have several options that can help with this. Uh, you could adjust the um, the render settings of the entire scene if your scene allows it or you could adjust just some Phoenix specific properties. So uh, in any case we are talking about reducing the quality to some extent. So uh, when doing a production render you might want to restore these settings but if you want to just do a quick uh, control render while your simulation is still being adjusted uh, you might uh, take the liberty and, uh, and adjust these settings that I will show you right now so uh, first of all um, the scene that uh, I will be showing you is uh, right now it has 36 million cells I'm using uh, a spot white and a V-ray dome white and especially because of the V-ray dome white we are getting uh, a reduction in rendering speed because it needs to trace a lot of rays to get that cool ambient occlusion effect that makes uh, smoke look much more realistic but uh, we, we're getting a penalty for this in the rendering speed so uh, first of all if you are using V-ray you might want to the, uh, go to the render setup and right here change the image support to fixed and uh, turn off the image filter. Uh, this will give you some boost in performance and uh, if I try to render this exact frame right here we will still see that uh, it's going quite quite slow so uh, we still need to to make some other adjustment but it, it would uh, be even slower if you were using the adaptive grid, uh, the the, uh, the adaptive image sampler and uh, the image filter. Okay, so I will cancel this and I will show you uh, the next options right here in the rendering mode. Uh, first of all, you have to make sure that you're using the atmosphere mode if you want to get a quick rendering. You could render atmospheres with ge the geometry mode, uh, but uh, it is. Uh, considerably slower and it will help you if you are using uh, uh, if you want to generate for example deep images or basically if you want your uh, smoke to act more like a geometry so if you don't have these requirements just uh, use the atmosphere mode and it will be faster so next thing one of the most important options for speeding up right here from the colors and transparency go to smoke color and here is the subdivision reduction by default it is zero so you have no reduction but you might uh, set it to uh, 10 or 15 or even 20 and uh, it will basically just reduce the number of rays that are uh, that are cast on the scene and uh, you will get uh, several times speed improvement with these but at the expense of some noise uh, that will be uh, visible here in the smoke as soon as this renders okay so uh, you might want to boost this even more but uh, a value of 20 or or uh, at most 30 or 40 is quite radical already so uh, this is uh, basically the top uh, you might still use this parameter when doing a, a production render you might want to say 2, 1 or 2 or maybe 5 but you will start getting noise after this depending on your scene you have to determine this by trial and error Okay, so I will cancel this right now. We see that uh, we're starting to move somewhat here in the rendering, but it's still quite slow. And uh, the next option that uh, you might want to check out is right here on the rendering uh, tab. You have the step percentage. So by default it's 50. This means that as the ray travels through uh, the simulator grid, 50% uh, means that it samples smoke and fire from the grid twice uh, for each cell. So if you if you set it to 100, it, this will be once per each cell, and uh, if you set it to 1,000, it will it will mean that it samples the smoke and fire once per 10 cells, and this will also drop the quality quite radically. But uh, now you see that we are really starting to move right here, and uh, we might even have the chance to live to see the rendering finished. Okay, here it is in 11 seconds, and uh, we have uh, quite a bad quality. But uh, you, you, you will get the idea if you're doing a quick control render, just to see how your smoke works compared to everything else. So you might want to decrease this to to 100 or 200 when um, 
uh, in, if, if you want to increase the quality right here and uh, still when doing a prediction render a value of uh, for example 90 is uh, is quite enough and it will do probably without causing any any problems with the image quality okay so a final thought uh, if you um, if you are using the latest version of Phoenix FD version 2.2 uh, you will be able here to choose the method of self-shadowing so if you want the, the smoke to self-illuminate uh, the, the fire to illuminate the smoke uh, to use the self-illumination you might want here to enable the white and use the grid based self-shadowing by default in older versions of Phoenix it, uh, the ray traced uh, self-shadowing was used but the grid based one uh, has this option of the grid reduction right here and it will uh, work several times faster depending on the grid reduction so uh, I would just use the white placing as a reduced grid white placing means uh, how how the generated whites that are whitened up the, the surrounding geometry except the simulator are placed inside the grid where there is fire so if I try to render it right now uh, we have to first calculate our self illumination and depending on the size of the grid and the strength of the whites that me that might take uh, considerable time so by default the grid reduction is set to 10% but uh, you might even decrease it to 2 and uh, just uh, reducing the uh, the grid right here will just make make the white uh, a lot smoother so right here you can see that we have some white and uh, if we if we boost the multiplier to say 15 in order to get um, much brighter illumination on the smoke itself right here okay so you can see that uh, the white is starting to to travel a lot a lot farther and uh, it, it even changes the color right here of the underlying plane uh, so uh, you could also get uh, qu quick, uh, quick results of the self illumination just uh, by reducing the the grid to a very small amount, and this will just smooth out the white. And uh, on some scenes, it might not be even noticeable. So this will help you make uh, quick renders uh, when you need them. Okay, so that that was it, and uh, I want to thank you for watching, and see you next time.